Hey guys, Jeff here with Grid City Fitness and Performance, and today I want to talk to you about the five keys to results when starting your fitness journey. Now, starting your fitness journey could mean you're starting from ground zero, you could be restarting a fitness journey, which means you've taken off time, or you've just reassessed where you're at and refocused and redialed in your target goals. Now, the reason I want to talk to you about the five keys to results when starting is because if you take these out of sequence or don't have them, you oftentimes will be worrying about the wrong things at the wrong time. Or if you take these out of the order that I've placed them in, it's kind of like taking a 50 mile road trip and worrying about the last two miles of your destination when I've still got 40 miles to go. All right, so it's important to stack these the right way to see the best results possible and improve your training, improve your results and expedite your results in general. So let's go right into it. First thing is quality of movement. The reason why quality of movement is number one here instead of nutrition is because I know what people do. And what tends to happen is the first thing people will change is their training. They'll go into training. They usually do not want to work with their diet. So because of that, that's why I'm starting with quality movement. Okay, so let's look at it like this. Quality movement is important because one, if you have quality movement, you're going to be engaging and activating muscles the right way at the right times. You're also going to get more bang for your buck, right? So if I could get, if I could get the same result by doing five reps versus 55 reps, which one would be more beneficial? Probably the five reps, not the 55. So when you have quality of movement, you have the ability to produce a better outcome and better result from your training and the stimulus that you're trying to accomplish. Also, with quality of movement, you're going to reduce your injuries, reduce the risk of injuries, and help yourself train in a better, proper, safer way. Which is important because if you get hurt while training, you're not going to see results and you're probably going to fall back off the wagon. So that's the last thing we want to do, right? So first thing, quality of movement. Okay, so really dialing in how you're training and getting the best best results from the training that you're doing, right? So not just jumping into more exercise, not just jumping into new movements, but dialing in what you're doing to be optimal, being quality movement, not quantity of movement, okay? Second thing we want to look at here is tracking. The reason I say tracking is number two is because very similar to number one in the sense of what people do first, it's much better to track all your information and track your nutrition and track your, your training because that gives you data points to work off of to see what you need to change and see what's working and not working for you. Without tracking, you're guessing. And if you're guessing, you're most likely not going to see results. So it's all about tracking, guys. Third thing. <laughs> this could be number one, could be number two, but we're putting it number three. And that is consistency. Consistency is key with results right? There's an old story about a, a tortoise and a hare, I believe it is, and they're both running a marathon. And actually, sorry, that's a bad story. I don't like that story. Sorry, let me take you back to uh, the 20,000 step story. And this is actually a better one that I actually prefer. 20,000 steps. It's about a race in Alaska. And it's um, every, every day, these two men are racing for the finish line to be the first one across Alaska. And as they're running, one of them only trains on good days, or not trains, but he only treks, treks on good days. So if it's nice and sunny out, he'll get outside and he'll put in some miles. Now, the other man, every day, no matter what, will get on his sled and move forward. Now, the person that wins this race and gets across Alaska first is a person that did the work every day. He was consistent every day. He didn't make large jumps one day and then fall off track the next. He was consistent day to day to day. And now you might be saying, hey, how does that work? Well, consistency is key, right? That's why there's so many books. Most of these books back here are all about consistency and focus, okay? So consistency is key when you're, you're coming to your results. Consistent, whether that means three times a week, four times a week, or consistent with just your tracking and consistency with your workouts, okay? So fourth thing, quality of nutrition. So once we've got our tracking in place, we can start to focus a little bit more on our nutrition because if we're not tracking, we're guessing. And when we start tracking and then we add quality of nutrition to our process, we can start to manipulate what we eat to see better results. But that doesn't happen if we just are not tracking. So by tracking and then worrying about consistency of tracking, 
then stacking underneath that quality of nutrition, you're making yourself build this nice platform and tower. You're building a strong foundation for your results and your outcomes that you're looking for. And then finally, number five is intensity and addition, okay? Now, the reason I even added this is because when people start a program, the first thing they wanna do is just ramp the hell up, right? They'll start at ground zero, they'll be coming three to four days a week and they'll just try and ramp up. They'll try and add like six days, they'll try and train six days a week. They'll try and add a bunch of stuff. But, all these other key aspects are out of place. So what they're doing right here is you've got a Rubik's Cube, right? Those little things that spin and you're trying to match colors. Now, I've never successfully completed a Rubik's Cube. I'm just not very good at them. But if this was a Rubik's Cube and you focus on the intensity and addition first, you're playing with a Rubik's Cube and trying to successfully manipulate everything else while only being able to actually turn two of the Rubik's, okay? so. With intensity and addition of movements, training, stuff like that, it is beneficial, but it's the last thing on our hierarchy or our five keys. Okay, so let's go back. First thing is quality movement. Ensuring that you're training properly, safely, and effectively. Making sure that you're maximizing each rep, each movement, each training session to get the optimal stimulus. Not just doing shit to do it, right? We don't just throw flour in a baking pan and hope that we make cookies. We have to put the right ingredients at the right time to optimize the result that we're looking for. Second thing, tracking. Tracking our training, tracking our nutrition. Now we're not even talking about actually paying attention to our nutrition in the sense of manipulating factors like our macronutrients, our calories, or even supplementation. All we're focusing on here is tracking. Because I know, like most people, they're gonna wanna add exercise and then they're gonna wanna change their diet. Most people don't wanna change their diet initially, so we do it in this process. So we start tracking, we track everything that we do, we track everything that we consume and put in. From there, we worry about our consistency. Again, you wanna be the person that shows up every day and takes a mile or two versus the person that only shows up on good days and puts in 20 miles but then takes three weeks off. It's much better to be consistent daily or multiple times in a week than it is to show up sometimes and then disappear for other times. So consistency is key in this key to results. Fourth thing is improving the quality of your nutrition. So eating in alignment with your goals, which means eating like the person you want to be or eating your macronutrients in a way that is best suited for your goals of either gaining weight or losing weight or staying the same and adjusting body composition. Fifth and final thing is intensity and addition. So we're not trying to ramp up our intensity before we have quality movement. We're also not trying to add more movement when we have shitty movement, right? It's kind of like if I had a car. I could rev the hell out of the engine all day long and I could drive multiple hundreds of miles, but if my tires and my engine aren't properly working, if my car isn't turning on and my transmission isn't going into the right gears, all I'm doing is wasting energy and wasting time and breaking myself down, which is now going to revert everything I've just tried to accomplish, all in one negatively impacting addition of intensity and addition of more training. So, knowing that, you now have the five keys to actually start seeing results right away and make it as simple as possible. So again, if we look at this really, guys, what I like to, to really have people think about is when it comes to training, it's very much like taking a drug. And when I say taking a drug, I'm, I don't mean like taking cocaine or something like that. I mean taking like ibuprofen. If I had a headache, I'm going to focus on taking just enough to get the quality and the result that I want. Okay, so we're going to be working on quality of movement, which is quality of movement is making sure that we're taking the right product, right? In this case, ibuprofen. From there, we're gonna track. So we're gonna make sure we know how much we need to be taking or are currently taking and giving us the outcome that we want. From there, consistency. If you had a toothache, you'd probably take an ibuprofen every day. So consistency is key, right? It would help in that case reduce the pain of your tooth. Quality of movement is making sure that you have the right things at the right times and getting the things that are optimal for your goals, whether up, down, stay the same, or just change body composition or improve performance. And the last and final thing is the addition or intensity of the drug, in this case, exercise and nutrition. So with those five keys, if you implement those right away, I can almost guarantee that within the next couple weeks, you will start seeing results and actually fast track your process much faster than you have in the past month or multiple months just by changing the stack of your keys. 
So focusing on quality of movement, then tracking all the information, data points, nutrition, training, all that stuff. Being consistent with your training, whether that's three or five times a week or more. From there, quality of nutrition, focusing on the stuff that you're putting in and taking in, consuming based on your goals. And then last and finally is the intensity and the addition of more training. All right, guys, if you have any more questions, feel free to comment below. But if you want help putting a process and program together that's going to take you from where you currently are to your end outcome, whether that's a 30-day outcome, 60-day outcome, 90-day outcome, or even a one-year outcome, click on the link above and put in your information. That's gonna give us a little bit about you so we can figure out how we can best optimally help you set up your correct five keys, get you where you wanna go, and know exactly how to do so. Otherwise, you're guessing, and we don't like to guess, we like to get results. And that's what we're here to do for you guys, so click on the link above if you want some help, and we will make sure that we help you the best we can. Take care, guys, and implement these five keys.